Hello, this is Kaki Lee and welcome to the Abundant Goddess Show, where I'll be sharing daily bite-sized pearls of wisdom I've picked up along my life journey that has allowed me to embrace and unleash my inner abundant goddess. And that's exactly what I want for you, to embrace and unleash your inner abundant goddess. I love talking about anything and everything to do with life, but I especially love talking about money, mindset and energy, which is the main focus here. If you like what you hear, make sure you subscribe to my show so you don't miss out on your daily dose of wisdom for myself. And also follow me and let me know what you think on Facebook and Instagram at Abundance with Kaki Lee. Now let's get into it. Welcome to the Abundant Goddess Show and day 19 of my 40 Days to 40 series, where I share 40 things I've learned in my life so far over 40 days. Today's pearl of wisdom is obstacles are a blessing. What? Yes, obstacles are a blessing in disguise because it is the universe, God, insert your belief systems way of course correcting for you. Sometimes it feels like a punch in the guts or a kick in the balls for the guys. But when I look at everything that didn't work out for me, something good always came out of it. Whether it was a even better opportunity or it was a lesson that I learned which helped me to deal with a future situation which may be actually worse or not as worse or I can use that wisdom that I learned from the situation to then help others because I went through it. For example, I had my first boyfriend when I was 16 and he ended up being a right dick. He cheated on me and physically and emotionally abused me. As a 16-year-old, I didn't know how to process my emotions. I really didn't know how to deal with it. So I was with him for three years. And at the time when I discovered that he was cheating on me, I felt like the world was ending. I felt like, oh, my goodness, I can never love again. Or, you know, being dramatic Um, and all those things but yes it felt like shit there was a lot of trauma that had to deal with and it took many many years to heal because there was a lot of trust issues self-confidence issues self-respect issues that I needed to deal with after that relationship but when the relationship ended there was two things that I vowed to myself that I would never do again. The first one is I would never let anyone treat me like that again. And the second one was that I would never not respect myself like that again because I went nuts. I went completely nuts during that relationship because I didn't know how to process my emotions. I was so hurt. I was so, so upset and angry and all these emotions that I didn't even know were available to me but I decided that I would never not respect myself again and I stuck to my I stuck to my vows and so I met my now husband who is the best thing ever He loves me and he treats me like a queen and I cannot ask for a better husband, a better father to my children. And that is a blessing that came out of that shitty relationship, right? I'm healed from it now. Otherwise, I won't be able to talk about it so openly and, you know, like it's it's nothing. But at the time, it was such a big deal. And for many years after, even after I thought I had healed, it was still such a big deal. So what I want you to do is really invite you to look at the obstacles that you have faced in your life and how you responded to the obstacle. And sometimes you might not even have had to respond particularly to anything because it was like really divine intervention. Other times you might have had to do something to overcome the obstacle, like learning something new or changing your plans or something along those lines. But chances are if you didn't learn the lesson that came from 
that obstacle, then you're probably stuck in there, stuck in the same sort of loop and not on your own terms. For example, I have a girlfriend who I love dearly who is stuck in a cycle of bad relationships. She learns every single time she ends a relationship, but at the same time, it's still there's still that cycle because she hasn't chosen not to get out of that cycle yet. And everyone's journey is different. So how you react to the obstacle is your choice, but know that you can just go, never again will I do this. You have a choice. But with every obstacle, something comes out of it. You learn something or there are better opportunities that come along. Because as I said, the universe is trying to redirect you into the right direction. And sometimes you might not see that yet. Or you refuse to see that and you just stubbornly going, I want to head this way when the universe is trying to guide you over to this way. And that's okay. Eventually you will get back to the side that universe or God insert your belief system wants you to go. So next time you face an obstacle, say thank you to God, universe, insert your belief system. Say thank you for guiding me back in the right direction and say that you can't wait to see what blessing comes out of this and then open yourself to the infinite opportunities that's available to you. And that's the end of the show and day 19 of my 40 Days to 40 series. Please share this episode with anyone that needs a reminder that obstacles are a blessing. If you like what you heard, make sure you subscribe to my show and remember to follow me over at Instagram and Facebook at Abundance with Lee. There's fun things happening there leading up to my 40th birthday on the 30th of May. Details of the first giveaway is there already. And lastly, if you're interested in working with me or learning how to create multiple sources of income from me, then DM me on Facebook or Instagram or email me at hello at kakilee.com.